What is going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be doing an 18 hour part time DoorDash work week. We're going to be working Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This video is going to be showing you how much you can expect to earn by doing DoorDash and food delivery part time. 18 hours is pretty realistic. So let's get right into the video on Monday, day number one. We're going to be multi apping with DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and Instacart to see how much we make. Let's get it. So right before we go out, we're gonna eat this meal real quick that we made, this taco, cheese, and sour cream, and some Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs, along with some pink lemonade. We always wanna make sure that we're eating before we go out, because you don't wanna spend any money on fast food while you're door dashing. But we're gonna be going today from 5 to 8 p.m., the dinner shift. So our first start of the day is $6.50 for three miles, Lucky Star Chinese food. Easy first order to start off the day. I also use the Beans app to find the apartment building. The Beans app helps highlight apartment buildings. It doesn't specifically tell you exactly where the apartment is. So in all honesty, I wouldn't really recommend it because it's $5 a month. I'm probably going to cancel after this month. $3 for 1.3 miles. Nope. $2.50 for 4.4 miles. Get out of town. But here's an order that we're going to take. A double stack from Jamrock Sports Bar Grill. So after I dropped it off, I kind of looked at it and thought how easy it is for someone to just take that food and run. But I decided to take the stairs down instead of the elevator, but I keep hearing some strange noises from this side of the building. Well that was kind of weird, but I usually park my car right in front of the hotel. It's the fastest way, no one's ever said anything, so you gotta be efficient. So we have been waiting for about 10 minutes. Today has not been a busy day at all, but we're just chilling. $7.50, 4.8 miles for a Panera Bread DoorDash. I also went in here to go grab some water, because water is always free. You can pour it yourself and you don't have to ask. And we were getting thirsty because it is currently 95 degrees here in North Carolina. We get this McDonald's, $6.04 for only half a mile, and then another DoorDash that is going to the same McDonald's, so we're going to do this double order. Secure the double order, 10 minute wait at that McDonald's. Kind of annoying, but we're continuing on. Let's go! Eight dollars and fifty cents. Five items, five miles. Hopefully, there's a bigger tip with this pizza order. And we got a big rainfall, but that's not stopping us from making these deliveries. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed so far, and check out my other DoorDash videos. And that rain stops. We get a twelve dollars and fifty cent, four point eight order. Pretty good for a DoorDash. And Pizza Hut gives me two DoorDash bags, each worth $10.99 on eBay. So we're going to sell that immediately. And they're both dropping off in the same apartment complex right across from each other. I saw this small Fiat car and I wondered if it would be a good DoorDash vehicle. So I went ahead and looked it up. And it's fifteen thousand dollars and five hundred ninety dollars for one with forty-eight thousand miles. Let's get thirty-one MPG in the city and forty in the highway. Not bad, but there are definitely better options for DoorDash vehicles. So we got two pizza bags right here, and I realized a big problem. I opened it, and there's a pizza in there. Some Pizza Hut. Um, let's see what it is. Some pepperoni. So I guess I'm gonna eat it. I mean, there's really no other option. So I guess what must have happened is when I reached in for the other pizzas, this one must have slipped out or something. I'm not even sure, but I missed it. 
And then today we only worked three hours on that food delivery, so we're gonna do some editing. I edit my videos with iMovie and Canva. I usually like to edit my videos while watching a TV show or something on Netflix. So this is me and iMovie putting the orders on the screen. We're gonna put that on the left so you can see it. And here I am on Canva.com making these visuals showing how much I made per order, but I'm probably gonna stop doing this because it takes way too long. I'm just gonna do the counters on the end. So for Monday, we made $63.08 in three hours for an hourly rate of $21.02. Just a small three hour shift. Let's see how much we make Wednesday, day number two. So our first order of the day is this DoorDash and Uber Eats double stack. Let's go! $11.50 with a $12.85, both in the same pickup area and similar drop off location. Let's do it. It is currently 97 degrees outside with a heat index of 106. Panda Express, $7 for 1.3 miles. Solid, easy order. Let's go pick it up. Let's go! Huge Instacart, $21. Two items, easy. This one, I almost got in a car accident trying to accept that one quick. Even though we are on that hustle, we had to stop and look at the animals. $5.75 for two miles. It wasn't really busy at the moment, so we took it. Just dropped off that last order. We just got a Wendy's Grubhub Double. Um, we're gonna take this one. $12 for about four miles. Not too bad. Uh, so that was a 10 minute wait, it's not too bad. $17.48 for 5.5 miles, extremely good order. So we are here at Harris Teeter right now, about to do this Instacart, but first I'm gonna eat some food real quick. We got some cheese and salami and some popcorn. I'm just gonna eat this real quick and we're gonna knock out that Instacart. $10.25 for 6.9 miles, Hop Supply Company. So we're doing a little gas station break. Got some Gatorade, help with some energy. And gas is $4.60 here in Wilmington, North Carolina. I was wondering how much is gas in your area? Leave a comment in the comment section below. So definitely if you're a delivery driver, have the Get Upside app. It saves you up to 25 cents per gallon and use my promo code for an extra 15 cents per gallon back on your first purchase. We got an enemy in there, a fellow DoorDasher. So the last order that we're doing today is $18.52, 13.1 mile order. It's a lot of miles, but it brings us back to our house. So let's go drive this 13 miles. Mario time. Here we go. So for Wednesday, we made $132.08 in 5 hours for $26.41 per hour. This is actually the best day of the week because unfortunately, Friday is our worst day. So it is 10.40 in the morning. We just got our first order, crumble cookies. We're going to be going for at least 12 hours today and we're hoping to make $350. bucks. let us go pick up this order. Let's see what kind of flavors they have here today. We got some cookie butter ice cream, milk chocolate chip classic, galaxy brownie, rocky road, and some honey bun. So next the customer actually canceled the order, which means I got half pay, which is around $3.50. And next I get this DoorDash and Grubhub that works well together, so we're gonna take it as a stacked order. 
So it looks like we're dropping off to this Wells Fargo bank. And DoorDash tries sending me the $7 for an additional 8.4 mile order. Get out of town! Our next drop off is only two minutes away. This house kind of reminds me of a Minecraft house. Alright, so we're definitely going to use the, the lobby because that drive through is pretty long. $6.50 for 3.5 miles. Not a super exciting order, but we're gonna knock it out fast. Let's go! $13.28 for 3.8 miles. Solid Uber Eats order. Hey, it's that one car that Dirty Mike and the boys use and the other guys. Well, here she is. They left her under an overpass for the night. Did you find anything? Yeah, we found a lot of stuff. All right, guys, so we just dropped that order off. We're kind of in a bad area right now, so we got to drive back to a hot spot. So it's probably going to take about 10 minutes. $7 for 1.5 miles from Jersey Mike Subs and $5.50 for less than a mile in the same restaurant. All right, so we just got this Instacart right here. It's $19 for nine waters and only going 4.4 miles. So that's a pretty easy Instacart. We got to the drop-off location. I was actually here about two hours ago, dropping off a food delivery. So we're about to go drop off these waters. Thankfully, it's just right there. It's not like in the second floor or third floor department. So this, this isn't too hard. And you already know that yellow always means go. So we're speeding up. We get this order right here, $8.25 for 15.2 miles. Terrible order. So I decline it and see what's next. And I get this one in $16 for 6.7 miles. It is not bad at all, but it's an order and pay, which means I gotta wait for them to make the pizza. And I don't wanna twiddle my thumbs for 30 minutes while I'm waiting for them to make this order. So I end up declining that one and I settle for this $6.28, 2.3 miles checkers order. All right, so we have been waiting in our car for like 15 minutes. It's currently like 3.18 PM, which is a slow period. Today is honestly not too good of a day but hopefully the dinner rush could save us. We got this Lowe's grocery order right here. It's a DoorDash. It's only two items, so we're gonna go do it as fast as we can. All I know is he better not be mixing these two things together. We get this double order, which is pretty solid, and also stop at Wendy's for some dinner. Wasn't really supposed to eat out, but I ran out of food. So I get this Instacart right here. It's only $9 for 0 0.9 miles, six items. So I'm thinking that's a pretty decent order, but I put in the address in and it's 18 minutes away. Obviously Instacart made a mistake in the app. So I called them to see if I could get an extra pay raise and I only got a pay adjustment of $3. Today's been really bad and this is the first decent order we get in a while. So I get this $9.50, 5.3 Little Caesars order next, and they end up canceling as well, so I get half paid for that one. $8 for 5 miles, this is the definition of an average order. This is a huge order, so hopefully this one gives a bigger tip. $11.27 for 2.4 miles, only 5 items, quick one, so we're going to do it. 
just finished that Instacart. It's 7 p.m. right now. We'll probably go for another hour or two. Let's go drop it off. So we just got our first decent order in a while. $12.44 for around four miles. Not too bad. So on Friday, we made $195.57 in 10 hours for an hourly rate of just $19.55. I think the main reason I'm doing really bad recently is because of the new Instacart update where you need a 4.7 or above to get all the good batches. Right now, I'm at a 4.57. Trying to increase my ratings. Once I get to that 4.7, I'll be able to make good money again because Instacart was a big reason why I used to make $25 to $30 an hour every shift. So in total for an 18 hour work week, we made $390.73 in 18 hours for an hourly rate of $21.70. Not too bad, but like I said, usually I make $25 to $30 an hour. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And also comment any other future videos that you'd like to see. And hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next one. Got